Ireland's classic hits, home of the 80s and 90s. It's Damien Faraday in the afternoon, live from Barbados and the Caribbean Sea, just looking fantastic there beside us. No clouds, it's about 33 degrees today, and we're having a wonderful time welcoming many guests into the studio all week, which is just fantastic. Ryan Ford joins me now from Harrison's Cave. Ryan, how's it going? It's good, it's good. Lovely. W- w- welcome Very to nice the to studio. It's good to see you. And just before the camera rolled and this microphone <laughs> thing was on, I said, how are you doing? What did you say to me? Say I'm good, man. How are things? Yeah, how are things? <laughs> so I was going, what? Where did the Irish accent come from? Yeah, some of our some of our accent and dialect actually comes from the Irish. Obviously, first from Africa, and then on to some of the early settlers. So the Irish, the English, the Scottish, they were some of the first settlers in the island. I'm really disappointed I wasn't the first Irishman in Barbados. <laughs> no, a couple more before you, especially, <laughs> especially Guinness and those things. <laughs> we're looking forward to going to Harrison's Cave. Mm-hmm. I know you've got the T-shirt on, fantastic logo, and we're really excited about that. Tell us, if I'm listening in Ireland right now, Harrison's Cave, what happens? Where is it? What do I do? Harrison's Cave is actually in the heart of Barbados, an area called St. Thomas, right there by Welsh Mahal Gully. Um, it's a natural cave, has been explored for the last 40 years, you know, taking tourists, taking locals, schools, religious groups, whatever, everyone into this cave. It starts off with a very interesting way, you know, when you make your booking, we're now managed by Chaka Caribbean Adventures, so it's all digital, that's the world that we're in now. Mm-hmm. You fast track through, you go through the lobby, which we're refurbishing, have to mention it, because over the next year, you're going to see a full transformation of a full eco-adventure park. Um, once you get down into the cave itself, you're going to go a couple of thousand feet under and you're pretty much going to be in a tram. A couple of thousand feet? Yeah, that's correct. Wow. How do you do Is it a lift or do you climb down? What happens? How do you, how a do couple you of hundred feet, I should say. A couple of hundred <laughs> By feet? By thousand feet in terms of sea level is what we're speaking about. Okay. Um, so there's, no, there's not a lift. There's a lift to get down to the gully floor. Okay. However, there is um, a tram. So if you think bumper carts, go kart. We're not hitting any carts on Friday, but the same structure. You go down into the car. It fits about 16, 20 people during this environment. It could be 36 to 40 in normal times, 2019, etc. cetera. Um, and it goes deep down into the cave. Whoa. You see the different formations, the stalactites, stalagmites, all over. And you have the dripping water coming down very nice and slow. You also see the lovely water coming from Welsh Mahal Gully straight into a natural pool that's made there as well. Okay, you're taking me right back to my geography class in school. <laughs> days so it's perfect for schools really isn't it yeah exactly schools families couples we also are into doing dining in the cave receptions cocktail um, dinners as well too so you know your stalagmites and your stalactites and i'm not oh, the best you're no. not the best <laughs> so how long are you working there me i've been there this year really and truly so from around the middle of june i started up prior to that i was with another company um, and now I'm actually getting that eco adventure because Barbados is transitioning to a new type of tourism, really and truly. You know, typically it's been sun, sea, and sand, but there has always been a lot more to do. It's just now we're putting a little bit more emphasis on the adventure aspect, pairing the different um, the different tours that you can do. Mm. You can do the sea, but you can do the land. So you come to us in the gully and the valley, and you really enjoy the experience. I love the way everybody on the island works together. Mm-hmm. It's th- like, like that's that, the only way. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see because everybody who we speak to all week are telling us that it isn't all about the sea and it isn't all about the sun. Yeah. There's so much that you can do in the island outside mm-hmm. from your lovely hospitality and your hotels outside the four walls. Mm-hmm. You can go, you can travel, you can have fun, you can hike, yeah. you can go go-karting and Harrison's Cave yeah. really is key, I think, for yeah. the island. Yeah, it is. It is very key. It's the number one attraction on island for years. Um, it has been kept in very great condition by the government as well as the team that was there. Now Chaka has gone in. We're now creating a full eco adventure park. So you're going to have zip lining within the next year. You are going to have gully cabanas being out of the structure of our historical chattel houses here in Barbados. You're going to have a challenge course, a green monkey experience. As you know, the green monkey is indigenous to Barbados. Mm-hmm. Hopefully when you come on Friday, you will see a couple running around. Um, they're always swinging from branch to branch. There's a lot going on. And you mentioned the other tours. We have some packages out and we could do customized packages. Between us, the number one attraction and the only cave in the Caribbean made out of limestone. Our island's made out of limestone. So we're the only cave in the Caribbean that you actually are doing tours in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we could pair with Mount Gay, first room ever made in the world. I'm sure you know Mount Gay. Yeah. You can do that. Or we can go to the sea. I know my rums now. It's all about the rums in Barbados. That's right. You mentioned the government. In Ireland, the equivalent of the government here to help us out with uh, famous pieces all 
famous historical uh, places, uh, tourist uh, sites all around Ireland are the OPW. So mm-hmm. the government are key to, I suppose, for funding mm-hmm. and advice to for uh, Harrison's Cave going forward yeah. to. Yeah, so it's a natural habitat. It belongs to the people of Barbados yeah. and the government is the people of Barbados. So regardless of whenever parties change, the property is still owned by them. And now Chuck of Caribbean Adventures, we are managing it for the next 25 years, upgrading it, investing a lot of capital, um, some sweat, some tears through the hard labor. And we're now making it a full eco-adventure park. So we're really giving back to the rest of our brothers and sisters here in Barbados and the Caribbean and it's really just showing how much of an interesting product that we have that is homegrown right here cool can't wait to see it sounds really deadly how many are you working there right now we have about 46 to 50 Whoa. by the time the full development will be up we'll be close to about 160 people brilliant yeah so it's major employment that's good yeah yeah what well, very we're big. really looking forward to seeing you on friday yeah. harrison's cave where do we check that online is it yeah presumably yeah. all over fi- facebook and instagram and so on yeah so if you're going to instagram you could either check harrison's underscore cave um, or chucka caribbean adventures you would find it um, if you go to chucka.com you would then pull up Barbados as the destination and you'll be able to find Harrison's Eco Adventure Park. Cool. Ryan, it's been yeah. a pleasure. Thank Thanks you as well. It's been a pleasure as well. Cheers. Cheers. Ireland's classic hits.